The ideal you'd set up for camping and adventure is one difficult topic to discuss. The word ideal is essentially subjective and personal. And the biggest problem of camping nowadays, obviously, is that we frequently overcomplicated setups, and starting to forget simplicity is the key to go camping. Simplicity, however, does not mean the need to compromise comfort and convenience. In this video, I'll show you what I think a setup as simple but comfortable and in the same time convenient. I present to you Project Utopia of my dual cap ute. G'day folks, it's Derek from 4x4 Adventure WA. This channel is about my own four-wheel drive adventures and through the adventures I provide some gear reviews and, um, and a modification around vehicles to suit my own needs. Now if you like this sort of content, I'd like you to subscribe and um, your support is really really appreciated just down there. This project Ute basically all started from my new set of tires and that is obviously a bigger tire and wider, uh, bigger in diameter as well. So the problem with this tire is, in my previous setup, I've got a designated spot for the 235-8516. It's a very skinny tire. Um, and now obviously this becomes a fatter tire, it will not go in the same spot anymore. And that's how I, um, that's how everything sort of started. Um, and it sort of gives me an idea to, um, to change the whole setup. So let me show you uh, in a nutshell how my vehicle is set up at the moment. Come this way. Now, so obviously my aerials in the front and I have plans to put the aerials to the roof once I have more headroom at, 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 at home garage. Now, uh, nothing has changed in here and you notice I've got my, uh, my roof platform, um, the, Titan, the roller Titan roof tray. I've got a se separate video about this roof tray as well, so check it out if you need a first impression. But so far, I think it's actually absolutely perfect uh, for my for my application. So roof rack, shuffle mount, um, and uh, I've got some recovery board up there as well. Um, on the other side, I've got an awning that is mounted there, uh, and it's not a typical awning; it's a different awning. So I'll go through the awning later. Now. These are my fuel and water tank. Uh, they extend my uh, my journey. So um, the fuel tank is 40 liters, and it gives me it almost doubles my uh, my traveling capacity. And water, not to mention one of the essentials. Um, my dirty youth well body. My uh, that's my water system there. And come this way. And that's basically my, my storage system, which I'll go through a little bit later. Now, I'm not sure if you have seen my previous setup. Um, my previous setup involves a couple of fireworks in here and uh, awning sits basically there. And, um, and this awning is an ostrich wing 270 degrees awning. It covers, gives you, uh, extends your, uh, your, uh, your shelter uh, a little bit. Now, the problem of the previous setup is actually not a bad setup. So the problem is, it's rear heavy. And sometimes it's catastrophic because when you are, uh, well, in my journey, I do a lot of technical driving and uh, extreme driving as well, uh, especially sometimes in the beach, dunes, when the uh, driving is off camber, well, which means in an angle. Um, the rear sort of drifts down uh, and sort of drags down the whole car and it's quite dangerous. I've had a really cold, close call a few weeks ago uh, when I was in a beach that is quite local to Albany. Um, there was the North Camber June. Uh, it's a very small hill but um, I almost rolled my vehicle. So that's why that sort of sparks my idea of moving things forward a little bit. Now, um, the biggest difference is obviously the bowels are all gone. 
Uh, and there were a couple of steel bar top top racks in here, and they are quite heavy. Um, there was an aluminium rack in the front, and an aluminium rack at the rear. So the front has been removed. The rear aluminium rack is still there at the moment. Uh, it's only for one reason. It has got a reverse camera there. Uh, it sort of holds um, the, the bar work sort of holds a reverse camera. And at the moment, I am um, uh, because I'm not sure whether it is an ideal setup for me. So, but now I notice the rear bar needs to go. So that reverse camera will go back to the tailgate there. Now, um, the whole point of this project Utopia is that um, I I reckon Ute stands for utility, and um, uh, this project is basically to to maximize the utility aspect of a four-wheel drive. Well, I mean, Triton is a ute, and uh, the Topia just means um, the ideal sort of setup that I um, I reckon a ute should have, in my opinion. Obviously, I've, I've removed all the bar works. Uh, the Titan tray at the rear uh, usually stays on the, um, the two steel bar works. Now, it's on here, on the two crossbars. And they are all aluminium constructions. They are pretty lightweight anyway. Um, and that Titan tray has given me a bit of a platform system to store my lights, my light, my cam lightings, my driving lights, my awning up there, uh, which I'll go through a little bit later. And also, if you can see the recovery boards on the other side. And the best part of it is the the whole. The, all of that sort of weight has gone forward, so it's now in a better balance in terms of the front and the rear. Now, this Titan tray has given me lots of um, use. It mounts my shovel, which is at a very convenient uh, spot. Recovery gear, uh, it's not recovery, it's my mesh strap recovery board. I have a separate video about how I um, how I repair the recovery boards and make sure you check it out, it's pretty worthwhile to check it out. Um, so the reason why I put my mesh tracks here uh, compared to before is I rarely have to use my mesh tracks. I mean when you're stuck you are, you have to spend time there anyway so um, you might as well just climb to the roof and get all your recovery boards and chuck it on the ground. So you have a look. This is how I mount my awning at the moment. As I said, this is a 270 degree awning. Um, make sure you check out another video of mine on my channel about how to um, how to mount uh, the 270 degree awning uh, like a traditional awning. Okay, so um, part of the core of this project Ute is the the, uh, the weight distribution of the car. So it is actually quite important. Uh, in the rear axle, that's where it is. You should have the heaviest stuff come this way. Uh, you should have the heaviest stuff right on top of the uh, rear axle. So in my case, there will be a two, um, two tanks of liquid. So all together, they're roughly around 80 to 85 kilograms. Uh, so both of these sort of sits right on top of the axle, which is the best spot for it. Now you may think about, oh, where should I put my spare tire? Spare tire itself is around 40 to 50 kilograms, which accounts for a lot of weight as well. So my spare tire basically sits right there inside the drawer system now. Um, sort of secured inside the well body. Now this is the, the most interesting part of Project Ute. Um, as you can see, if you check out my previous videos, you notice I, I previously had four mesh tracks in here, and I open it and using using the mesh track um, mount as a table as well, which is kind of a two-in-one sort of thing. Uh, but the problem is that the mesh tracks, when they are all, uh, four of them are all together, it's actually pretty heavy. Uh, they are around 16 kilograms when they are all together, which is not good at the rear. So it sort of upsets the weight distribution. I've actually um, measured using my hand, not by scale. 
um, tailgate is actually lighter than the mass track mount and the four mass tracks in the same time and that's why the mass tracks go to the roof rack at the moment now this is my tailgate and this is where basically where I prepare my dinner and lunch or food anything like that or it could simply be my uh, uh, bench for uh, uh, to when I when I work on stuff um, and you, you can say oh you have no drawers anymore yes and by the way I don't I don't have a drawer anymore I've removed the drawer system and this is basically uh, the, the remaining drawer body so it sort of acts as a shelter for the stuff inside some people will say if the awning is mounted that way um, it sort of wasted a lot of space because that's basically all I got left at the rear of the, of the ute um, as opposed to previously if the hinge of the awning is there uh, I mean it's there you sort of you still have a lot of room for the shade uh, there is a reason for that previously I've got a draw system I can I need to pull out and basically I start using my drawer um, I start using my, my, my awning in here now I do not have my draw system anymore um, I can still use my shade in here so it kind of works out perfect I in that case I don't really need the excess amount of uh, of awning shade and you know what the beauty of it you may think this is a bit of a lead hey it's not really oh it is a lead but it's also a draw slider so it comes all the way out and then it basically allows me to access the side like so and I can well, because everything is sort of opened up like this, I can easily climb up and access things in there. And that's basically where I put my spare tire. And you know what? The spare tire is fantastic because it's positive, 12, uh, positive 20 offset. It sort of forms like a basin. And on the basin, you, it, it allows me to put all my recovery gears and all the bits and pieces in there. So it provides me a really good room for storage. So the spare tire does take up a bit of room, but it's also in the same time a bit of a structure for me to put stuff on. This is basically where I put my food and rubbish at the moment. Uh, that is my uh, where I put my gas bottle and all, this, all the stuff that I need very quickly. Um, and basically all, all the insides are, are, the, are the stuff that I don't really really have to use. Uh, very frequently so it kind of gives me a really good sort of uh, plan of storage so these are the stuff that I always have to use always have to touch and uh, the stuff inside deep into the huge well body uh, are the stuff that I rarely have to use now so that basically concludes my project huge topia um, so leave me some comments to, to, uh, to let me know how you think about it I reckon it's bloody fantastic and uh, well, when I said it's sort of an ideal youth setup, uh, there are always room to improve. Um, there are always better ways. But in this situation, um, it is, in my opinion, the ideal setup for uh, for for a four-wheel four drive youth dual cab to be used as a weekend adventurer. So, mind you, it's not for touring; it's for weekend adventure. So it's good for up to around four to five days worth of trip, and I've got more than enough uh, resources in there, water and fuel, that sort of thing. But anyway, if you enjoy my contents, please subscribe. Just press the button down below. I've also got my Facebook link and Instagram in the description. So if you're interested, um, just go there and have a have a look and give me a thumbs up and follow. All right, thanks guys. Have a good day.